Hi, this is Katrina from Katrina K Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to increase your skirt pattern in the hip area without making any changes to your waist measurement. And just a special note before we get started. If you are adding a half inch or less to each side seam for a total of two inches or less to your entire skirt, then you would want to use this method. These are my original skirt pieces, my skirt front, and my skirt back. The part of my side seam that I need to enlarge is the area between my waistline and my hip line, which you can see by the lines in red. But my waistline is fine. I don't want to change the measurement of my waistline and I don't want to change my hemline. I just want to change my side seam in this area between my waist and my hip. I removed the seam allowances where I need to make changes just so it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. I've added about 3 eighths of an inch to my side seam on my front piece and my back piece bringing it down to nothing at the hem. I could bring it to nothing at the waist as well but let me show you what happens when I do that. It gives me a very curvy line in this area. Now I can adjust this curve and move it in some, but then I'm going to lose the 3 eighths of an inch that I've added. I'm going to lose some of that and I don't want to do that. So instead I'm going to do something different. 3 eighths of an inch added to my side seams may not seem like a lot, but that's going to give me a total of one and a half inches extra room between my waist and my hip. So instead of getting that real curvy line at my side seam, I'm taking what I've just added to my waist out of my dart. That way my waist will not change. The, my waist measurement will not change. So I added 3 eighths of an inch to my side seam and I'm going to take that same amount out from my dart. So I took, I've split it in half to take it from each side of the dart. So it comes out to like 3 sixteenths of an inch which is not a lot. It won't make my dart too wide. And here's a closer look. This is my center line of my dart. That won't change. The black lines are my original dart. And then the pink lines will be my new dart. So here I've removed all of my old lines and you see my new lines in the pink. The shape of my seam lines stay the same and I still get the extra inches that I need in my skirt without changing the measurement of my waist or my hemline. And here's a closer look at my dart on my front piece. And my dart still, I still have to chew my darts. And here's a look at my dart on my back piece. Whenever you change your dart in any way, whether you make it smaller, make it bigger, always check and make sure that your waistline is still a smooth curve when the dart is closed. So I had to chew my darts again and change my line just slightly, not no big change, just had to reshape my line a little bit because I made the dart wider. So now when my darts are closed, my waistline on my front piece and my back piece are nice smooth lines. I've added all of my seam allowances back to my skirt pieces and this is what the finished skirt looks like and the pink lines show you where I made the changes. So now I'm going to place my original skirt on top of this change skirt and then you can see where I've made the change. So you can tell by the pink lines where all the changes were made. And here's a closer look. You can see the changes I made to my dart and the changes I made to my side seam. And here's my front piece. And here's a closer look and I especially want you to notice where I've had to change my waistline curve a little bit to accommodate my new dart. And this is how you make a side seam adjustment without changing your waistline measurement or the width of your hemline. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel by clicking that bright yellow button because there's more to come. Did you like this video? I hope you did and you can let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, leave it down below and thanks for watching.